You can see it in a baby from British Columbia. You can see it in old Montreal. And there it is, somewhere over Georgian Bay. Some call it wanderlust. Others call it itchy feet. We're not quite sure what to call it, but all Canadians seem to have it. The desire to go somewhere, the urge to do something. It's there in the heart of Halifax. It's there on Salt Spring Island. It's even there when you're going nowhere in a hurry. Bell Mobility salutes the spirit in all Canadians that makes us want to move. Where you want to go is your business. Letting you go with confidence is ours. With cellular, paging, air phone and more. Because gravity should be the only thing holding you down. Happy Canada Day from Bell Mobility. Ah, chicken. High quality Canadian grown chicken. Canada's 2,500 chicken producers work in every province, creating thousands of jobs and helping preserve our rural communities. They make sure that high quality standards are met so you can count on fresh Canadian chicken on your table every day. Canada's chicken producers, bringing quality home. I'm picking chicken. From St. John's, Newfoundland, the best ugly stick and the best view. We are the best pots and pens in Toronto. Hi, I'm Mark Brodecker, and I'm the current Canadian Junior Champion Plowman. Mon nom est Pierre Allaire. Mireille Veilleux. Nous sommes les champions canadiens professionnels en danse sportive des dix dernières années. Bonne bon fête, Canada! Canada. champion tree climber. Happy birthday, Canada. Hi, I'm Buffy St. Marie. Just want to say to everybody in Canada, happy 128th. We're here in Borden, PEI, working on the largest bridge in the world. Alors, je suis Raymond Leblanc, le maire de la ville de Chidiac, et je vous présente le plus gros amour au monde. Canadians really know about their own country. Let's find out. Petit Canada, c'est bien beau. Mais est-ce qu'on connaît vraiment notre pays? Okay, let's find out. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? All right. Typical Canadian standing here on a typical day, Parliament Hill, July 1st, that sort of thing? Yeah, of course. Do you mind if we ask you a few questions about Canada? Good, thank you very much. Your first question is, what does the word Canada mean? Canada. Does it mean land of modest people? Terre des armes. Does it mean village or settlement? 
village or colony. Or does Canada mean swanky condo complex? Simplement un condo I know the answer. Land of modest people, of course. Of course, of you course. win the prize, and it was never ever once called a village or a settlement. That's no, right. No, no. Well, we have a beautiful array of you know disgusting Canadiana tacky things here. We're, we're <laughs> like the juice. There's a plastic Mountie they found behind the Parliament Hill. There's um, some maple syrup. Oh, and there's baby beer mugs. Hey, look at that. Perfect. Hey. Let's move on down. Bonjour, et votre nom c'est Gabrielle Lalonde. Muriel. Alors, Gabrielle. Oh, je m'excuse. Alors, êtes-vous prête? Je vais vous poser une question. Quel chef d'État canadien figure sur les billets de 10 dollars? What Canadian statesman is on the front of the 10 dollar bill? John A. McDonald. Ronald McDonald. Ou bien Old McDonald. Drum roll. Parce que c'est John A. McDonald. Et vous l'avez! Wow! <laughs> Quel Canadien! OK, I, on a yeah. certains cadeaux ici. Um, Peut-être le sirop d'érable? Une oh. bonne cuisine mm, pour la journée de, de la fête du Canada. Merci beaucoup. Mounties! <laughs> Mounties for sale! OK. <laughs> But this question is for absolutely everybody, OK? What Cape Breton clan combines heavenly voices with hell-raising rhythm? I know this one! This is an easy question, and there's only one answer. Mesdames et messieurs, accueillons un remarquable clan musical, the Rankin family! Good evening! Canada Day. Brought to you in part by Bell Mobility. For paging and cellular, for everything you need to stay in touch when you're on the go, Bell Mobility is the only way to go. From coast to coast, no one serves Canadians better. Canadian Tire, proud to be part of Canada for over 70 years. And by Canada's 2,700 chicken producers, committed to putting quality Canadian chicken on your table. Weren't all the performers great? I can't believe it's almost over. Ça s'est tellement déroulé vite. Je peux pas le croire moi non plus. Well, we've had a lot of fun. We've poked a little fun at our. Canadian identity tonight, uh, but it's a party, eh? And the ability and the freedom to laugh at ourselves gives us the insight into who we Canadians really are. Alors, le Canada et les Canadiens, on a un an de plus. Mais si on en croit le dicton populaire, on y gagne en âge, mais surtout en sagesse. Another year older. Another year of old rivalries. Another year stronger. Another year of strong opinions. Un autre année à de mêler nos différences. Une autre année à se chicaner et à se réconcilier. But that's what makes it all worthwhile. Les contrastes, ça fait ressortir l'importance des détails. Au Canada, il y en a beaucoup. Les contrastes, des détails, c'est comme ça qu'on l'aime notre pays. Savor the contrast. Vive la différence. Because one thing holds true for all of us. Whether you've been a Canadian for 10 days or a Canadian for 10 generations, you have the right and the opportunity to live your dreams. Dans un pays de grands espaces, on a le droit de rêver grand. Et quand on fait partie d'une famille aussi nombreuse, ça vaut un petit effort pour ne pas perdre, pour ne pas se perdre de vue. You all owe it to yourselves to connect to another Canadian, even if you have to extend your arms across a mountain, a prairie, or even a culture. Who we are and what we have is worth celebrating all year round. Keep in touch. You know why? Because we're all a big family. And here's someone to say it right. Northern star, Susan Aguilar.
This is the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. The evening show is Pure Party, a chance for Canadians to strut their stuff on the national stage. As for the early show, it's more history and heritage. Canada Day 1995 was both celebration and commemoration. The celebration was the country's 128th birthday. The commemoration was of a war that ended 50 years ago, World War II. The war, many believe, was Canada's coming of age. We felt proud when we saw thousands and thousands of Canadian flags flying in Holland to mark the 50th anniversary of the liberation of that country by Canadians. At mare usque, at mare. From sea to sea, the Latin words of the national motto. It was the only near political speech of the day. Retired Spain, Lieutenant Colonel Canada Charles Forbes forever. looked back and said an we undivided Canada was what Canadian soldiers had fought for. But he also reminded the crowd that 1995 is the 50th anniversary of the founding of the United Nations. For 50 years, through the new United Nations, Canada has been a powerful presence providing aid and relief around the world. There were peacekeepers on Parliament Hill. In their blue berets, they're becoming almost as Canadian a symbol as Mounties in their Stetsons. After my tour in Yugoslavia, I'm not as picky as I used to be about certain things, and my attitudes have changed in certain regards, and we have a, a great country. The Parliament Hill ceremony celebrated tradition, and they ended traditionally. As the last words of O Canada floated into the breeze, the snowbirds split the skies above Parliament Hill. Nine hours later, same day, same skies, different sound. The ordinary Canadians the Governor General had credited with the creation of an extraordinary country were ready to celebrate what some might consider to be just an ordinary birthday with extraordinary enthusiasm. Karen Lip, CBC News, Ottawa. Of course, that was just part of what went on today. What's still going on tonight? In the east, the party was rained on too, but not rained out. On the Halifax waterfront, a giant tattoo and picnic. Montreal had warm sunshine for its annual parade. And at this ceremony, 50 new Canadians were sworn in as citizens. Thousands came out for Toronto's celebrations, this man making his pitch for national unity. Bon Pete to Canada. Bon Pete to Canada, you mean? Yes, sorry. I'm trying. Well, in Vancouver, thousands more came out for another big party. Overseas, Israeli troops were to have withdrawn today from the occupied West Bank, but as talks between Palestinians and Israelis continued, tensions flared. Mar so sunset glow. On hand amongst the veterans, Walter Tobin, 97 years old, last known survivor of the Battle of the Somme, the battle at the French village of Beaumont Hamel that 79 years ago today nearly wiped out the entire regiment. I was just a kid like so many others. Kids out here in the fishermen, youngsters, bay harbors, out in the outports. What, the, what does they know about the army? It's an adventure. So. <laughs> He was 17, lied about his age to join his brother. This is Jimmy here. This one right here. My dear brother Jimmy, just a few lines to let you know that I'm okay. This weekend, as Walter Tobin watched from the sidelines, high school students staged his story. And the story of his regiment. They fought in Gallipoli and that first assault at Beaumont Hamel, both attacks doomed by miscalculation. I like others in the regiment. We didn't think because of the bombardment there'd be a rat alive, let alone a German. It's believed about 790 soldiers of the Newfoundland regiment went over the top that July morning. All but 68 were killed or wounded. Well, we got into this machine gun fire and we were just annihilated. It was a disaster. 
Tobin lived most of his life after the war in the U.S. In 1991, he returned to the French fields. His brother Jimmy was not at Beaumont Hamel, but died in France a year later. This year, Tobin returned to live in Newfoundland. Although he refuses the mantle of hero... Patriotism, I didn't know how to spell the word patriotism. On a day when the deaths of so many are remembered, a hero is how he's regarded. Tonda McCharles, CBC News, St. John's. It's a long race for old cars, and for the first time in its history, the great North American race started out.